Hello, my name is Mrs. Crane. I'm one of the ninth grade English teachers at Olathe Northwest High School. And on behalf of all the faculty at ONW, I'd like to congratulate you on choosing Pre-AP English as your English class of choice. I'm here today to kind of go over your summer assignment. Since this is your first summer assignment you've accomplished, um, I'll give you some detailed instructions and then hopefully you can walk away prepared and ready to tackle this assignment. All right, let's get started. Taking a look at your first page, it's just a general outline of the assignment itself. You can see nice and big at the top of the page, it has the due date, August 18th, that's a Thursday, and the first full day of school. It's very important that you've typed your assignment, saved it, printed it, but make sure that when you save it, you can access it on a USB drive or through email because you will need to upload it to turnin.com. The purpose of that is to check for plagiarism, and I'll talk about that in just a minute after we go over the assignment. Beneath the due date, it tells you the novel that you'll be reading. It's called Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. You can access this book by purchasing at Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com, Half Price Books, or you can check out the book at your local library. However, make sure that you have a copy available on those first couple of weeks at school since you will need it in class. Beneath that, um, there's a detailed description of each section of the assignment. You can see that there are four parts. The first is a figurative language and literary terms chart a characterization dialectical journal, extended response, and a non-fiction art, non article with annotations. Um, beneath that, there are some help options. You can come on August 10th from 5 to 7 p.m. at ONW's Library Media Center. Myself, other pre-IP teachers will be there to help you if you have questions, to look over your first draft of the assignment and give you some feedback so hopefully you can improve and do well when you turn it in on that first day of school. And beneath that is contact information, three teachers you can email if you have any questions or concerns. Okay, let's begin with part one of the assignment. This is the figurative language and literary terms chart. You can see that I've given you an example here on this second page of a symbol, it defines it for you in that second column, and then it's given you a quote. Your job is to find those quotes and provide the explanation. Notice in the example that it's an accurate example of the literary device, and in the explanation, they don't simply summarize the device or what's happening in the story, but they explain why the author used that device, so make sure you're doing that within your own explanations. On the third page is your chart. You need to fill it out. Notice the first one is symbol. You do need to find a different symbol than the example provided, and then also find for the uh, remaining 11 literary devices or excuse me, fourth page is your second part of your assignment, the characterization dialectical journal. You have been given three quotes from the novel, and your job is to come up with a commentary response in that far right column of the chart. What that means is you need to analyze the character, Henry's experiences, his thoughts, his emotions, and describe what do we learn about the character based on this passage in the novel. Again, please avoid simply summarizing the scene or just restating what's already in the quote. Our third section is the extended response. You'll see that there are three prompts. There are several questions that relate to each prompt, so make sure that you're answering every single bullet question you see on those prompts. You need to do this in typed paragraph form, at least a half page in length for each. The last section is the nonfiction article annotations. You can see that you've been provided with an article by Eleanor Roosevelt, and you need to mark the text. What that means is you're underlining, you're circling, and most importantly, you're writing in the margins. So here's what you need to be writing. First, write text questions, things about the text that you would want to bring up in discussion in class. This means you're not going to ask, who is Henry? Henry is obviously the main character. We already know who he is, and you can answer that question quickly and easily by reading the novel. Try to come up with more interesting, high-level, complex connections, or questions, rather, that will help promote discussion in class. Then you need to find novel connections. <clears throat> Anything that you um, connect to the novel between the article and the text itself, that's great. Again, Notice the content of the article, what Eleanor Roosevelt is writing about, and see how you can connect that to the characters and events within a hotel on the corner of Bitter and Sweet. And then the last thing you need to be writing in the margins are real-world connections. These are connections to what you think is happening in today's society. Does this information matter today? This happened historically, it happened in a novel, but how can you relate it to our world and our society today? Provide specific examples. We've also provided you a rubric for that section as well. 
and you can refer to that in your packet. All right, let's talk about briefly the academic honesty pledge. Um, this is important to understand that plagiarism or academic dishonesty is when you're taking anyone else's ideas and claiming it as your own. It is really, really critical that you do not copy anyone else's work for this assignment. And by signing this pledge, you are committing yourself to being academically honest and only using your own work. Please review that pledge before signing it and understand the consequences if you choose to be academically dishonest. Also, when you come to school on that first day, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you will be turning in your assignment to turnin.com, and that will check for plagiarism. So make sure that you are having integrity and being honest to get off on the great foot at ONW. All right, again, contact me or any of the other teachers' uh, emails on the front of this page if you have any other questions. But we look forward to seeing you this school year.